Hi, I'm Callum from Anything Technical and in today's video we're going to be looking at cutting skins for touring skis. We're going to be using a Coltex classic skin with a 70 plus bale and we'll be cutting them to these Castellet TX90 skis. Let's have a look at some of the equipment that you'll need. Okay, so when you open the box up you'll have two skins, you'll have the carrier bag, you'll have a set of instructions, the cam lock tail fixing and the protective netting as well. You'll also get the 70 plus clips which you'll need to adjust to the tip of the ski and also a cutting card. Now sometimes, and not always, these can be a little bit temperamental. So I would recommend that you have a Stanley blade as well. You'll also need a permanent marker, a straight edge, a hammer and flathead chisel for uh, actually securing the 70 plus clips in place. So you'll need to crimp them in the black zone and a leather hole punch. So first things first, we need to mark up some areas of the ski that we're going to be trimming. So on the tail, you want to mark about seven centimeters back, because that's where the skin will end. So just a dot on each edge. Same for the tip. We're going to come back through the shovel, probably to where the side cut starts. Sometimes there's an indicator on the side wall on the construction. What we'll do is we will just come back to there. Okay. I've secured the ski in the vise with the dummy sole which pulls the brake up so that's nice and solid, it's not going anywhere. So with the 70 plus tip fixings, we have a male and a female part. I'm just going to decide now which is the correct width to crimp these two. So I'll just make sure those obviously feed in together to start with. Feed them in, slide them on. Now I want this again to be about five to seven centimeters away from the tip of the ski. Just check underneath, make sure there's plenty of clearance there. Okay, so I'm going to take that away, and again, just going to mark on here where I'm going to crimp that in place. So now I take that apart, I'm going to offer the skin up to the ski. Female part threads through the webbing at the top, meets the male on the other side. Get that centered again, just pull up there, make sure that that's exactly where you want it to be. I know that's not central for now, but that's okay. And now we need to crimp this in place. So now we will need a hammer and a flathead chisel just to crimp these in place. Now the black zone on the actual clip is the crimping zone. So I'm going to do two here, one on each side. Just check them. Make sure they're nice and firm. Now one thing if you can, I just want to try and crimp this other side as well because that's actually not crimped in at the moment. So I'm just going to give that one crimp. And that now is nice and firm. Now we have centered the skin on the ski. We now need to cut it to length. So a bit of tension into the skin. I'm just going to cut it off right at the tail end. Okay, we can just discard that. Now for the hard bit. We now need to offset the skin. This is how we get a nice profile to one edge. So I'm going to put the bail on. I'm going to pull the skin right of center by about four millimeters. Now what I'm looking for here is an overlap on this nearest edge towards me. So I'm still making sure there's a little bit of an overlap here, but I want the majority of the excess to be on my side. And just run down the length of the ski, smoothing it off as we go, making sure there's no air bubbles. If you find that you haven't got quite enough, you can always just peel that off and reapply. 
Okay, so I'm happy with that. Make sure it's nice and flat. You might feel the odd air bubble in there, but that's okay for now. Then we take the cutting tool and we're going to run it down the edge of the ski. One edge done. So we've completed the near side, now we need to trim the opposite side. So we need to peel the skin off, pull the tail up towards the tip. I like to use the transfer sheet for this, just makes life a bit easier because this adhesive is quite sticky. Okay, so we'll peel the tip of the skin off. Now we need to offset this to the left of centre. And what we're looking for is an edge width and a half of space between the edge here and the actual skin. So apply that all the way down. Make sure it's nice and flat as we go, keeping that distance the same. Sure, you can always just peel the skin off and reapply. So make sure it's nice and smooth. Try and get all those little air pockets out of there. You can always peel it back. So again, cutting tool. So now we've cut the skin on the furthest edge away from us, we now need to recenter the skin to be able to finish the tail fixing. So peel the skin off, and now we need to just recenter it, making sure the edge is clearly visible on both sides, just like that. So now we've got those indicators that we marked up earlier, so we're just going to now draw a straight line. straight across there. That's where we are now going to cut. So again, just to make life a bit easier, a bit of torn off transfer paper. I'm just going to lay that underneath there. To use the Stanley blade now. Make sure it's a fresh blade. So it's nice and sharp. Just going to have something to cut through onto, so a plastic scraper will be fine. Obviously, we don't want to be cutting into the base here. Make sure you're happy before you cut. Remove the excess fibre. I'm happy that that's nice and flat and flush. So now we need to thread the tail fixing into the cam lock. So we thread that through a little bit at a time, just to start with, because this webbing fibre is quite tough. You don't have to thread it on all the way to start with. But that will do for now. We now need to centre the tail fixing onto the skin. So I always like just to mark the centre point, just give you an idea. What we're looking for is about a millimetre of skin left just behind the webbing here. So I'm happy that that's central. It's sitting within the recess for the cam lock. Just going to mark up there 
and now we need to use the punch. So we're now going to use the leather punch to cut the three holes in there for the rivets. So I'll just peel the skin back. Now sometimes that excess material won't come out of there because again the adhesive holds them in place. So I'm just going to use the end of the Stanley blade just to pick them out. So now that we've punched the holes in for the tail fixing, we now need to secure it in place. So we'll use the male part of the rivets, offer that up. Now the fixing goes underneath the skin. This just helps to make it a little bit more reinforced and give it some additional hold. And then the female parts go on top. Now you can just hit these with a hammer to secure them in place but we have a special riveting machine which is what we'll go and use now. And now you just need to press them into place. That's them nice and secure. Now we just need to tidy up the tip section. So we need to pop the skin back on, making sure that it's centered. don't need to do the full length of the ski here. We're going to come in, find those points that we marked earlier. Straight edge, this is a flexi straight edge. Same on the other side. And then we simply cut them off. Now we just need to tidy up the tail fixings. We're just going to cut these off at 45 degrees. Now we can tension the can lock, simply flick that over and pull. Never pull on the tail before flipping the can lock over. Always flick the can lock over and then tighten up. And there we go. So now we've completed cutting the skin, we now need to transfer it to the netting material for storage. So flip up the tail fixing. Pull that all the way to the tip, apply the netting, just flatten that off with your hand, peel the rest of the skin off, lay that flat, centre it up, transfer, and flatten off. Now we can roll this up and put it into a storage bag. And that's you ready to go. If you'd like any more information on our services, which include cutting skins, please visit the website www.skiequipmentuk.co.uk. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.